Happy Tuesday. How you doing? Hey, I want to talk to you today about why some people don't seem to get their miracle. Why some people don't seem to get their miracles. And some do. We're going to talk about this. I'm, I am determined that you people are going to get your miracles. We've been having miracles already this month. This is Miracle Month. We're teaching out of this book, How to Get a Miracle. And I said at the very beginning on Monday when we started that people would be getting miracles. And they are. They're getting miracles already. We've been doing this, what, a week? And miracles are coming in already. Praise God. Wonderful healing of a premature baby. COVID was healed. All kinds of stuff going on. I'm telling you, God is doing miracles. You're next. You're going to get your miracle. Stay with this. Be determined. Be determined to have it. And you will get it. Say this with me on this happy Tuesday. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart and getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Everything always works out for me. Good things are coming my way. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor. We make miracles happen. We get prayers answered. We're all about results. I don't mind telling you we can do this. I don't mind telling you. People say, oh, how can you say that? Well, I can say that because God's word works. I brag about God. His word works. All I do is what it says to do. That's all. And I get what it says I get. Huh? I speak the blessing just like God said to do. And he blesses people just like he said he would. Huh? I break curses in people's lives and their lives change. Just like God said. Glory to God. Call me today if you need your prayers answered. If you've got a prayer request, if there's something going on that you need, people call me all day long for everything you can think of and they get it done. And... We're learning some things about these miracles. I'm learning about miracles. Huh? And I've been doing miracles and performing miracles for decades, over 30, way over 30 years. Miracles have been happening in my life and in my ministry with people I come in contact with or getting, have been getting miracles for over 30 years. They, they follow me all over the place. I mean, we... Started out in Wisconsin, moved to Oklahoma, came to Florida, every place we go. Miracles. Glory to God, huh? So call me today if you need your prayers answered or if you need a miracle. Huh? We're in the miracle business. Glory to God. Why some people don't get miracles. In order to find out why some people don't get miracles, find out why some do. Huh? Find out why some do. Glory to God. Make sure you call me today when you do your offerings and donations. Some of you did offerings and donations yesterday and didn't call for the blessing. I want to speak the blessing personally over every person who donates to this ministry. I want to speak God's word for word blessing over you and over your offering. Amen. I want your offerings blessed. And I know they are, but I really want them blessed. Some people don't get a miracle. You have to, you have to find out why. I've always, the first, this miracle that we had years ago in Wisconsin, this guy came into my office in the morning with some friends. He was all bent over, and he was just shuffling around. He couldn't hardly walk. 
He had a cane. He had this big wrap thing around his waist. And I said, what happened to you? And he said, I was lifting an ice fishing shack and I blew out two discs. And he says, I got knots in my back the size of ping pong balls. Just blew the disc off. You know, there's, there's discs in your spine and they're made out of cartilage and they're round and they're between every, your vertebrae is made up of different bones. And these bones are connected by this cartilage. And the cartilage uh, gives your back the flexibility to go like this. And it protects the spinal cord. Well, his ruptured, two of them ruptured and just blew out pushed away from where they were supposed to be between the bones and his back. And it popped out. And of course, it put pressure on the spinal cord, which gives him numbness in his legs and makes him bend over and just incredible pain. So this was on a Wednesday morning. So I said to him, I didn't even know this guy. I never met him. I said to him, if you come out to church tonight, we're going to have church tonight. If you come out there tonight, we'll pray for you and God will heal you. He says to me, oh, he says, I hope so. I said, no. If you come out there tonight, God will heal you. And I will never forget the way he looked at me. And he said, okay. Just like that. He said, okay. Well, I told him where, where the church was and what time. And that night, it was 25 below zero that night. Him and his wife and three little kids got in this old beat up car and drove 25 miles to get there. And after the teaching, the man in charge, Neil, We all got around in a circle around this guy and I was behind him, Neil was in front of him and Neil commanded his back to be healed in Jesus' name. And the guy went over backwards, fell down on the floor, flopped around and 30 minutes later, he got up totally healed. Took the braces off like this, oh my goodness. And I mean, just... His wife just went crazy. His wife was running her hand up and down the guy's back. She says, it's gone, it's gone. Because she knew those were there. She had felt them. And it was just incredible. That miracle changed that church. I'm telling you, people went crazy all over town. The town was 3,000 people, small town. Everybody in town was in just a matter of, of, of a couple of days Everybody in town knew about that miracle. That Sunday, our church was so full of people, there wasn't room to sit down. Everybody came to see if they could get a miracle. Pastor went crazy. See, the pastor wasn't there that night when the miracle happened. He didn't like it. He didn't like all the publicity about miracles. He died of cancer later on, too. He, he didn't get him. He needed a miracle, and he didn't get it. Well, in or I spent 25 years trying to figure out what had happened with that miracle. Even though I was doing miracles, I guess there was a lot I didn't understand about miracles. I finally came to understand that that man got his miracle because he agreed with me when I said, God will heal you if you come out there. Two people agreeing. He agreed with me. That's all he had to do. Was just agree with me for a miracle. And that night he got it. So many people don't get miracles. Because they don't connect with the person performing the miracle. See, here's the thing about miracles. Somebody has to perform it. Somebody 
has to make it happen. Now, in the Bible, all the miracles, the miracles were done. Jesus performed miracles. But the people who came to him believed he could do it. Paul, Peter, Stephen, Elijah, Elisha, Eli, all those people, people in the Old Testament and the New Testament were performing miracles. Eli, in 1 Samuel chapter 1, performed a miracle with Hannah. Hannah was too old to have a baby. She was in her 50s. No children. She was crying in the temple. And Eli said to her, the God of Israel give you what you want. That's all he did. And she got a miracle. Somebody called me the other day with COVID. And I said, I, I, I came against that spirit. I told that spirit of COVID. There's a spirit of COVID, let me tell you. I told that spirit of COVID to leave him. And I said, be healed of that right now in Jesus' name. And I'm telling you what, I hung up the phone and that guy was healed in a matter of minutes. A matter of minutes, because he sent me a text yesterday and told me. Word for word. Word for word, I read it. I read it to everybody yesterday. Word for word, he, he, he was healed. Just a couple of minutes after, just all the aches and pains, the headache, the stomach ache, every, everything, everything associated with that COVID left him in a matter of minutes. He got his miracle. Now that's a miracle. You're going to recover from COVID if you get it. Because the COVID going around right now that people are getting is very, is mild. But it's very annoying. It's like flu. So he would have, re his life was not in danger. But to be healed in a couple minutes is a miracle. Same thing happened to Mary Sunday morning. Sunday morning, she woke up sick. I know, I know what she had. I know what she had. She woke up sick. She was throwing up and everything. So sick. We came against it. She refused to have it. The guy that got healed over the phone, he refused to have it. A miracle, a lot of people don't get their miracles because they tolerate what they have. Number one, you got to come against it. You have got to be determined not to have it. Then you got to find somebody who can make it happen for you. I spoke over Mary. Mary still didn't feel good. She went about her business. And this was about 8 o'clock in the morning. By 1030, when people began to arrive at church, she was totally healed. Because she got dressed. And we went over to the church and she got, and she goes through all this stuff on Sunday morning to get the church ready for the people. Makes the coffee and puts out the stuff and you know, and then we, we clean up and, and, and by the time people get there, everything looks real nice. She does all that. Well, by the time people started to arrive, she was totally, I went back over there at 1030 and because I always come home and, and get ready. I went back over there at 1030 and she, I said, how are you feeling? She said, fine, fine, fine. She said, I'm fine. She was fine. She got a miracle. She got a miracle. To find out why people don't get a miracle, find out why people do. And do the same thing. Mary refused to tolerate that illness. People, I read a story yesterday about the baby, the premature baby. That family, especially the grandmother, refused to have anything happen to that premature baby. They got a miracle. Glory to God. It starts with that. And then she found somebody, me, who could make it happen for her. You got somebody who can make it happen for you, folks. You refuse to have it and then call.